We've got to swing by the office. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Billy? We are live. We are live. We are live. Did I say welcome to the main event? Oh. Run that thing, <laughs> Are you mad? Oh, oh man. Behave before you talk about what I'm talking about, yeah? yeah. Disclaimer! <laughs> Run that thing back. Oh, man. Corner, man, run that thing back, fam. I don't want to hear nothing from you. We are live, guys. I'm J1 Further the Cyber Nerds. Revenue GS. Sam, Mr. Blipster. And we're back with an episode seven season three review of The Boys. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, hit the thumbs up and press the notification bell so you can get notified every time we drop our banger. Yeah, man. What's going on in this episode, lad? What isn't going on in this episode? Our disclaimer, this ain't for everyone and spoilers. Yeah, just them things there, innit? You should know already, but... What do you mean yeah. this ain't for everyone? Like, the... the I'm just letting them know. Like, like uh, just if it's your first time here, just not... Uh, uh, okay. it's, it's a madness. It's a madness. It's wild. Oh, where to start today? Where to start? Uh, I guess, like, just going back in history. So, uh, what's my man's favorite? Black Noir... I did not see that coming. How the whole not delivery because I think the delivery was 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 it's just the boys delivery in it. But like just going through um, the past and how they got to here today, like all the stuff him being bitched around by a uh, soldier boy, and then everything moving forward to that like it's like raw i just never thought you'd be that guy to like especially when it was revealed that oh that, that was your best friend so it's like i don't know how i took that in like i like the the whole like animation stuff because obviously it's the boys like they do crazy stuff but like yo i just did not see that coming for that guy maybe because he's quiet i don't know but like yeah do you want to are you, can you talk about Black Noir without going crazy, Sam? No. Okay, so I'm just going to say my part then because I'm going to stay on Black Noir in it. Yeah? Like, I've got... I've had major issues with Black Noir since the beginning of season one in it. Like, I really like the character or his aesthetic or the feel they gave to him. But whenever they get into man's backstory... It's just moist, bro. It's Peanuts. just dead, bro. Yeah. Right. The peanut allergy, <laughs> the getting bullied by a soldier boy, the like, even the way Edgar really talks to man. Like, but then they also have this next narrative of he was the hardest. He was running things like, we've, that's not and, present, bro. Yeah, that's, that, yeah, we've that's never what... seen that, 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 that mythology that you try to create with man with one line here, two line here. As you're fleshing the man out, you're just. You're re really on the whole thing. Do you think, do you think, so you see how my man over here... Oh, you think that's the propaganda? Yeah. That Black Noir is hard when he's really yeah, super like, sensitive he's, and soft. Yeah, because that's what this guy's over here talking to you about. Oh, like, my so, uh, um, soldier boy is over here talking about, oh, he stormed Normandy when my man never this. did that. Yeah. So, do you know what I mean? And that's the only thing that kind of, like, eased me because I was like, oh, okay, you've given us this stuff. But I just didn't expect it for him to be that guy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like... It's, like, it was a kind. It was a shock to me. I, do, I it's, for me. I don't. I didn't not expect it because they have been throwing these crumbs yeah. out the whole time, and this is why I'm. I'm like I'm happy. I'm me because my initial radar from season one of this guy's moist right. is now coming to fruition. Right. Even though they were showing me a character that I'm like, I should identify with my man, and I was identifying with my man. Like, do you know what I'm saying? Half and half. But I'm like, I like this guy, but this is moist. Like, and now the it's, flags are, yes, like, yeah, the flags the were there. there yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? And now it's like, yeah, black noir. It's just, it's just the way the whole scene came on. Like, yo, like I went for the job. Why would you do that to me? And then he just got moved to like in front yeah. of everybody. Like yeah. that's that's the shock for me. Like that that's what triggered. It was the, how how much of a punching bag right, man yeah. was. Do you not know what just I'm man's not fighting back. Man's like, like, like nothing, what? nothing. That's, that's mad, bro. That's mad. So then, even them being like, oh, it was black noir's plan. But Soldier Boy is adamant that Black Noir ain't doing nothing without Vought. Because he knows. Yeah, but that's what he I'm knows. saying. Like, it don't even then make sense that that is Black Noir's like that can't yeah, have been can't Black be. Noir's plan. Yeah. Do you know what, what I'm saying? Still. But that's what I'm saying. Soldier Boy knows Black Noir can't do nothing without Vought. Yeah. So why he even brings up Black Noir 
It's pointless. He's he's in his mind. He should just be like, well, Black Lamar's gonna get killed as well, mm. and I'm gonna go deal with Ooh. Edgar. Yeah. Do you know yeah, what I'm but saying? All of these men are mad, isn't it? So it's like the way they be like their behavior is just like just completely just erratic. Yeah. So get me. It, that's I don't even try to understand their logic and their ways. But but yeah, man, Black Noir like just uh, for me it's a bit mad because like I said, they they almost put him out. If he's one, of, he's on a seven for one. Mm. But ever since episode. Not that well, season one where you went toe to toe with Kimiko. After that, man's really done nothing. Of course, season two went into the house. He beat up, he beat up. Who did he beat up in the house? I can't remember. He got singed pretty badly, didn't yeah. he? Yeah, mm. that Asian brother. He got a brother. Did nothing. Was that a brother? Yeah, yeah. 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 he got, yeah, bruv. Black the Wars, that was literally done so nothing, really. He's been going downhill, which is weird because, like I said, everywhere else, like on the Diabolical, man's meant to be babysitting Homelander, like. He's, they made him seem like he's that guy and then he's really not. But obviously, if Homelander doesn't know and they've told you, oh, Black Noir yeah. is your babysitter, mm. it's just all narrative. And that, you know how Homelander's mind was and Homelander's a bit younger there yeah. where it's like, he might really be shook mm. until the one day he found out like, this guy can't do nothing to me. Do you get what I'm saying? So, it's it's really mad. It's propaganda. and It's and, really mad. And, and they've done it really well if you think about it, the way they've sold him out because like yeah. that's that's the way they're selling it to the public yeah, too exactly. so, so in that delivery i'm like yeah you man showed it you, like bro like this show is just like it's just amazing show man like everything they do i don't see anything wrong the way like whether regardless of the matters they bring on screen <laughs> their delivery is just like amazes me every single the, the, every the, single like uh week the delivery is quiet there's one thing as well yeah that i want to talk about this episode is like the reveal that a train survived yeah Ooh. now this is why I, I, I rate the boys because for, I want to say, 99% of shows, I would have been pissed A-Train survived right. because I would have been, there's no consequences here. Right. But the boys understand that and they're like, this is what we do. We give you the thing that narratively you probably don't want or mm. that is cliche, but we spice it up with, you're now alive with a new lease on life, but the guy you killed, you have his heart. So now... That's that like that in itself that, is sticky, bro. Yeah, Madness. very sticky. The guy who paralyzed your brother, you know how have his super powered heart for your respawn. Do you know what I'm saying? Like you've now got Blue Hawk's heart. Now Ashley's gassed about that, and it's like, oh, you got a new narrative. This, 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 and this. You're going back to your old suit, which I think is good because obviously they could sp spin the story of, like they said, Soldier Boy killed uh, Blue Hawk. You've taken Blue Hawk's heart. And now you're going back to your blue suit. Like that is actually a good narrative, mm -hmm. which hundred percent is not going to run for a train. Right, and I, I, I want to say I hope that turns the the page for him in hey, terms in terms of like yo, you was that moist guy doing all the thing wrong. A train now, died, bro. Because like yeah, he, mm -hmm. that a train is exactly, dead. Exactly, mm -hmm. dead. exactly. Because like even when in his in in his bed, like she's like just brr, just spraying everything. And he's like, what? No, like that's not what happened. But like, he, but obviously, because he's just woke up, he's still in and, and just dealing with the shock that, yo, I got this dude's heart. He needs to spaz, bruv. He needs to go mad. Like when he gets up, he needs to go full train on everyone, bruv. I think for, for me, he just needs to kind of cut. Like that's what I think he should do. Like he's got a new lease on life. He should just go cut, be an independent superhero and use the heart that was finishing his community Use that energy to fix his community. I think for me, that's the only way. Like I, like I don't, I don't need a train running around more. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? In this thing, I think he's got an opportunity to just bust case. Do you know what I'm saying? Like I think he should take that. You get me? That's 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 a hard one for this show because everybody moves mad. If you don't flashpoint, no this one's thing, sensible in this show. What's he flashpoint? <laughs> it's all too before Robin, bro. <laughs> He started his whole thing. I know he's doing that. So yeah, A Train's still, he's still, yeah, he's still done, bro. Yeah. No, let's <laughs> let's give him a chance now. Like, I'm yeah, not sure a new heart, fam. Let's give man a I, chance. No, I think he's gonna be a completely new guy. But mm. like, I'm uh, like, I'm done with the A Train character. Like, mm. he's done, bro. He, bro, you're done for me. He's finished. Uh, we need to come up with a new name for him, <laughs> bro. Oh no, get me. Oh, what's next? Who else to talk about? The reveal that Soldier Boy is Homelander's dad. Beautiful. Yeah. I thought that was beautiful. I love the link. I love that, like, we was talking about it before, that these men take what's going on now and they always tie it back. They've done it with Stormfront being a Nazi and mm. coming all the way through 
then Homelander now realizing that his you is he is just in another cycle of what his you is. Mm. And I love that they started the episode obviously with him yeah. talking about harvesting Maeve's eggs because that is the that's the that's that's just the normal thing to do. Do you mm. know what I'm saying? We make soups, all we gotta do is breed these men. We're trying to make the stallion of the stallions. Do you know what I'm saying? So Ham, Homelander's like, well, to pr- to precede me, his his fear of mortality now from getting punched up by Soldier Boy and them man is like, I need to preserve my mm. lineage. And he knows Maeve is the key to making a soup deeper than him. Mm. And that was mm. obviously Edgar's thought process mm. in making Homelander from Soldier Boy. But let me take you to Man of Steel for a second, where Zod is talking about ceasing the degenerative bloodlines that got us to here today. Please understand, Soldier Boy is tapped, so is you, Homelander, is more tapped. <laughs> so believe the child that, firstly, we've already got with Homelander and Bully Butchers, I mean, Homelander's baby mums, is already tapped, mm. but the Homelander and Maeve child will be the Antichrist. I was about to say, that's going to be dark side. Yeah, that child will destroy the universe. But then, you know who's there to combat that? Who? Ryan. No. No. Like, no. Like, no. Like, because the way... See, cause, Yo, no. Clean. Ryan no. can't <laughs> fight that you. I know he can't, but that's that would be the, the other side. That's how they carry on this thing. Because, right. like, even the way, like you said, the way they've started the, this whole conversation with Maeve, then they circle back right. to the whole... Uh, uh, at the end, where they reveal that, what do you think is in is in is in Homeland? Oh wait, I was just having this conversation, and he was saying, "Oh, I would never, I would never fight you. I'll give you the reins." So now he's he's already in 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 Homelander's life mind, bro. The way they write this thing is so sick. So when you're saying this thing, the only thing I'm like, yo, the next one to be on the opposite side is gonna be Homelander's kid. That's not as as powerful, but that's the only person that can combat that because it's also Homelander's DNA. I just want to run it back to Homelander saying, if me and you may have had a kid, no room like this can hold, man. Because if him, him and Maeve, like, I hear what you're sprub. I agree, you get me? Like, Ryan is the Batman of the situation. Yeah, it's the but, next best situation. But no. That is no. <laughs> like, nah. That, like, they can't, that you can't, just don't make that you. Don't make that you. Like, I don't even... Like, at the end of season seven, mm. I don't want to see that you in the test tubes. Like, that is... Just, you know what I'm saying? That, that's the end of everything. It's the end, bro. Like, that's a demon, bro. A oh, real... Days. Look at these, man, bro. The mm. good guys are finished, bro. The bad guys are... Fi- the good guys are more <laughs> finished than the bad guys. That's what's mad. Yeah, bully... Billy... Have you got... Oh, Soldier Boy Homelander, where you at? Oh, what, the, the just, just, yeah. I, yeah, obviously, I love it. Like, the whole tweet... Obviously, I never saw that coming. I want to team up. That's what I'm thinking. I think that has that's to happen. happen. Man Father said, and son. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, if they came to me, his man said, oh, of course I want to let my son take the, like, be higher than me kind of he thing. He said but the right things to Homelander. But them two teaming up, that boy, I don't know what's going to happen for everyone else then because... Do you think that's what's going to bring ev- the team back? Because like, oh, because obviously Butcher went with, with uh, Soldier Boy mm. and now obviously Soldier Boy just find out what just happened. So obviously he's gonna jump to the other side, mm-hmm. and then obviously Butcher and 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 who he's like, well, we're gonna go thing. Uh, Kimiko just took the yeah. serum, the virum. Uh, we also was mentioning during the thing, oh, that um, next man should take it as well. Yeah, I mean Frenchie should take the the V, right? And obviously, I mean Starlight is like, oh, you man a Butcher friend. and yeah, Butcher and Huey are there at the limit on how much doses of V they've took. They've definitely taken between three and five, and I know that the show has shown us them take yeah, between yeah. three and five. So, like, if you want to go back and watch and count, I'm sure we've seen it three times, at least. Yeah, man. At least. And I think that these lot are going to end up probably with either permanent powers from taking the permanent V to save them from the temporary V and then Soldier Boy exploding and removing all powers. Do you know what I'm saying? That is a way... And that's the way you can save yourself. That's the way we can reset everything. Do you know what I'm saying? At the end... But with it being the boys and it being a madness, who the fuck knows what's going to actually happen? <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Besides the man then who already ripped the thing. Get me? So this episode was like a roller coaster. The whole Billy situation for say, me. Billy, please. <laughs> I, like, love I love it, bro. I love it, bro. It's so mad. Every I... single season, this man don't know <laughs> nothing but Homelander in his bullseye, bro. The, th- the thing for me with this episode is like, 
I need to see more because I like from him having a flashback of his abusive dad, his brother killing himself and all of that. And then him still not telling Huey. I'm just like, well, I need to see why you're having this. Like, why we go through all of this dream sequence, bruv. If you're still going to be on the path of being the same person as your dad. Now, for me, there is going to be a turn with Billy. Like, this is what this, this is setting up a turn. Okay. They just did not do the turn this episode as you would expect in terms of giving man the V. And that's probably because they know that the V down the line is going to get sorted out and Billy can come back from <clears> not <throat> telling Huey that. Do you know what I'm saying? Go on, um, go on. Yeah, go unless on. he does take the V to help save himself. Like, I've been saying it before, like, and his, bro, or his conscience told himself as well, like, you can't help killing other people and you're going to be the one that's going to be replacing, <clears> or <throat> well, we said it, yeah. paraphrasing, he's yeah. replacing Homelander. And we've said that from the beginning, yeah. Yeah, so imagine he does take the V to stop the uh, temperamental V from killing him. Imagine he doesn't get in the crossfire of Soldier Boy blowing up. Imagine he now is permanently... He's permanently a thing. And then, and then Homeland is the one that's now, been, like you said, been flipped into being a human being where Maeve's like, oh, you don't know nothing about uh, other than being a suit. I would be interested to see if they would actually commit to that, bro. Right. Like, because, bro, this is the kind of show where it's like, yeah, they like they set up everything for that to happen, mm -hmm. but I need like I need to see that before, you know what I'm saying, yeah. before I give them that title, bro. Because that there, I would say, is some of the greatest team we'll ever see, ever. On television, period, bro. Yeah. But I, bruv, you man, have got to do that for me I'm first. Say, I'm not, gi because... I'm not giving them. I'm not handing that to you, bro. <laughs> yeah, like you have like... to give me. The, yeah, you got to give me that first. Because like at the end of this, I feel like yeah, Homelander will be defeated, but like he's only be going to be replaced. And by Homelander's got to be human at the end of this season yeah. with with something else for him in the future. Like for me, like you don't kill Homelander. Homeland, like a punishment for Homelander, like his worst thing is if he's got to walk around as a civilian, mm. as a peasant. That's mm. it. That's, he's that's it. That's the that's his that's purgatory for man. Mm. So there's not for me. There's no killing Homelander. It's like, like walking. Then, yeah, then it has to be flipped. Yeah, if where it's, and if it's Billy's flipped, the one where now he's like I'm where you should be. That's and, why I like yeah. Soldier Boy being Homelander's dad, right? Because everyone could potentially survive this season mm -hmm. if. Everything going into next season is totally, yes. totally, totally flipped. Mm. Like the, the 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 suits are now an endangered species and are on the run mm -hmm. against Billy. big bad Billy, <laughs> yeah. who's like I'm purging you, man. Yeah. Like, and he's on that whole island. Yes, yes. Yeah, See, spanned. if if that's the narrative switch, oh my word, like. The, let's get season yeah. four, five, and six <laughs> now. Like, do you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, bro, this so. this show is fire, bro. You might got anything else for these man? <sighs> Billy was like, I'm not leaving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not leaving. <laughs> I'm not fucking leaving. <laughs> Billy's <laughs> tapped, bro. <laughs> tapped. <laughs> I just knew, <laughs> bro. I just knew. He's like, is he going to tell you? I'm like, what? Yo, he's like so butchered so bad, bro. He's so bad. Could have saved it like he knew could have saved his brother. He's there shouting in his own dream. Don't do it. Then he's tough. Bro. Don't go. <laughs> but, I just, I, <laughs> but he knew in his own mind, I'm going to go. But I, I, I like that. I've just, I just Billy's never been my, like, I just, yeah. nah. I yeah, don't, that's, that's what I love about it. And we just know Billy's just not that hero that they're trying to say that, oh, he's trying to save, he ain't trying to save Bob. Bob all his, bro, he's Homelander, man. Yeah. He's Billy's Homelander, fam. Well, love it. And look, you lot, stop yourself from being Homelander, innit? Just subscribe to the channel, support good things. You get me? Hit the thumbs up and press the notification bell so you get notified every time we drop a video when I roll to 200,000 subscribers. Other than that, I'm J1 Further the Cyber Nerds. Revenue GS. Sam, Mr. Blitz Tech. See you on the next one, cunts. Peace. Bye, bye, bye.